Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is Nails by Mama D. I'm Mama D. So today what we're going to do is I'm going to do an aqua, aqua nails, like where the uh, water's inside them. So I think I got everything set up. We'll see if it works. Um, so this is the nails that I want to do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start with the pinky. So I've already got the uh, other coffin tip on there. Then what we're going to do is apply this coffin tip on top. It's a full size one. Um, I might have to trim it down just a little bit, but I'll wait till I get it on there. Um, but when, when this is on there, in which case I might take the hand off to do it because I'm going to have to press, there's a little hole that's right here that's going to make it so I can put the fluid in. So like I said, I think I'm going to take the hand off of my stand real quick and end up doing it this way real quick with you guys so what i'm going to end up using is my uh gelic or gel like um glue around the oh no i'm not going to use my uh top coat no wipe around the edges with it um because what you need is something that doesn't have a tacky layer so the no wipe top coat has no tacky layer. I don't mind putting it on a little thick um, and then wiping my brush because I need it thicker back here by the cuticle because uh, it's a full size. And of course, th what I have on the nail right now is a non C curve and what we're putting on is a C curve. So we need to make sure that it definitely has enough in the back to hold the, uh, the tip. So now we're just gonna hold, grab it. Oh, where's my flashlight first? because I'm going to flash cure it. We're going to put it on there. I can see where it's touching. We're going to go ahead. Oop, see if I can hold it. Yep, there we go. And get the edges and everything. See if I can get one side real quick. And if I have to... There we go. I can hold back here a little better. And then I'll hold the sides on the tip better. Okay. There we go. That actually looks really good. It looks like it might actually work. I'm going to uh, end up curing them, but I'm going to bring it up here closer for you guys. Let me see if I can get you guys to see this. Okay. <clears throat> so see here where it touched? And then also over here, you can see where it's sealed. And you can see all the way up here by the tip where it's sealed. Now over here on the side, you can actually see where it's sealed. I might have to put a little bit more right here. And then of course, the tip is where the hole is that I'm going to put the glitter and all the other stuff in. Oh, maybe, let me see if I can do it this way. Yeah, there you go. There's the hole you can see. And that's how we're going to get all our stuff in. So that is what we're going to do on all the rest. So that should really work well. Then we'll seal off the, um, the top after I put the glitter and the uh, uh, oil in there. So now we're going to go ahead and do... I gotta see if I'm in frame with you guys. Yep, I'm in frame. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest here. And like I said, I'm making it a little thicker on the sides and on the cuticle area due to, if you notice, that's where I need it to hit the most. So after I get those, I can drag it across, of course. There we go. Grab my nails, my tip, put it on there. I'm going to try to do the back first this time. So I'm gonna swap fingers. There we go. 
Now go to the sides, or at least go to the front. There we go. Well, one little spot didn't seal, but I might be able to seal it on the outside, so that'd be okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the middle one. Like I said, so just one little spot right there I can see, but I can coat it on the outside. And, um, but other, other than that, yeah, it's working. It's working, I'm hoping. I might not be putting enough on this side too. So let's go ahead and try to put a little extra on this side since that's the second time that that has happened. Okay, gonna go ahead, okay, now let's just use a little mount down the middle. Fix this edge up here again real quick. There we go, turn him on. I'm calling my flashlight a him, how crazy, but that's okay. Cause again, I think I wanna start with the back that's sealed Ooh. well it did and it didn't let's do it again okay now let's go ahead And then I'm gonna cure it better in my other light, guys. This is just what they call flash curing. Uh, oh no, that did a good seal on this side too. Like I said, I have a feeling I'm still gonna put a little, cause right there, there's a little bit that looks like it might not. But we're gonna go ahead and flash cure it anyways when we're done. And I might add a little extra um, top coat to all of it before I cure in the light. Okay, this really isn't that hard, guys. But what um, what some people say they do, in which case I just don't have any, so that's why I'm using the top coat. No wipe top coat. It can't be. It can't have that sticky layer. Um, some people are using uh, rhinestone uh, gel, hard gel. Well, I don't have any rhinestone hard gel. I don't use that for my rhinestones. For my rhinestones, I use. Um, uh it's china um and it's their rhinestone glue that's what i use so unfortunately i don't use the other one did you cure back here let's see oh. she didn't like me so let's go ahead add some more here And on this side. And there we go. Now bring her down. But um, yeah, I don't have any of the hard rhinestone uh, uh, glue, uh, gel, excuse me. If you do, you can use that because that doesn't leave an inhibition layer. It um, it it goes on just like um the uh no no wipe top coats it'll leave it uh smooth and so forth so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to kind of coat some of this outside so it's nice and i want it to be thick enough but i don't so if i do file it won't um break that seal so and i'm just going to put some all over it too but I don't want any at the tip tip because I'm not closing it Let's 
So like I said, I'm just trying to go ahead and do the edges. I can see that they're sealed. It's just, I want also that texture to be gone. So. And that's why I'm putting a decent amount on because then if I buff it, I don't want it to uh, break that seal from that. But other than that, guys, this wasn't super hard yet. Uh, we'll see when it comes into putting the uh, glitters and because I got, I'm not, I didn't show you. We're going to, because I'm going to make it still Valentine's. I was, I was thinking I'd do an Easter set or spring set. And I said, nah, we'll still do a Valentine's set. We got a couple days before Valentine's. So we'll do one more Valentine's Day set. Um, but yeah. So we're going to do one more Valentine's and then after that I might do a lot of springs or um, I have black now and I got a couple other holographic colors. I want to start doing some of those. Um, I want I got a pop art one I have in mind. It's just now that it's I was going to do red, but now I don't want to do red. I don't know what color I do want to do. Maybe some also Easter colors because there was another one that was real springy looking I liked. And I'll have the references for that too. Okay, I'm gonna cure this. Okay, it's cured, nice and smooth. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna leave it just like this, I'll just pull her finger. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and see if I can get some of these um, hearts in it. And which hearts I'm doing is it's called Pink Halo. And the other one is uh, Silver Tails. And they're kind of holographic as well. And then I'm also using holographic glitter mixed in my uh, cuticle oil. So, or baby oil, whatever you want to call it. It's about the same stuff. So we're going to just try to fit. Oh, it went in. There we go. Try to fit a few of these in here. I don't know how many I want to do per nail. Do I got one in there or two? It look like I had two on there. Come on. This might be my hardest finger I have to do. We'll see. <laughs> The other ones might go a little bit easier because they're, oh, I lost it. Let's get, oh, I couldn't find my really pointy, pointy uh, tweezers. So I was a little upset. One more pink. We'll just do four in this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my um, needle and we'll poke it in. Come on, stay right there. What is wrong with you? There we go. Now we're gonna use my little dull pointer and we'll push them in. And the pink one came out. <laughs> well, of course. Why wouldn't it? Oh, I got it in with my finger. There we go. Okay, so I got four of them in there. Let's go to the next one. We'll put all these in. Because I did forget I'm supposed to also be making, um, oh, wow, that, oh, no, mm, that's, yeah, that's a pretty decent hole on this one. There we go. Okay. If this works, guys, I am going to be excited. I've tried it before. It, it, it did not work for me at all. It was leaking everywhere. Uh... I don't know, it just didn't like me. So I've been looking up a couple different videos. I've seen this video and it seemed to work pretty good. I even forgot who, I, I mean, it was a video from like two years ago. I just couldn't even tell you. Oh, see, there was two in there. No wonder it was having a hard time going in. <laughs> oh, and that one flung way back. Wish I had my pointier tweezers. I think my daughter-in-law took them for diamond painting. I don't know. I got three in there so far. And they're in there pretty far. I just hope that they move. 
that's the other thing I've noticed. We put them in there and then they just don't move. I, I just, yeah, they need to move. If they don't, oh, I'll just be upset, but not that bad. Really? Okay, that one's in. Pick this pink one up. This one has a halfway decent hole, it looks like. But watch me be completely wrong. There we go. Yeah, that one has a really decent hole right there. So hopefully these ones will go in pretty well. Where'd my poker go? Let's poke those other two in first. Sorry guys, I'm trying to concentrate so I don't have to do this 20,000 times. Huh. Okay. Ooh, that one went flying across the room. Oh, that one fell out. Okay, there we go. Push them down. I pushed the pink one in and the holographic one fell out. There we go. Come on. It likes my little poker. There we go. I got four on that one, four on that one. Let's try to see if I can get... This one I'm going to have to clip the back one. So... But hopefully it'll make it a little easier for the hearts to go in. Because it'll have something to lean on. Hopefully. Okay. Well, that one went shooting away. Almost like as if it got stuck on something. There's the next one. And another one. Oop. Okay. Yeah. They said that this would be the tedious part. So I guess I they are definitely correct. This is the most tedious part of it is trying to get these in there very very tedious but we're getting it so it works okay let's get you in there okay so they're all in there now what i need to do is uh find one of my forms. Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> this is one of the form sheets. Obviously, there's the form. I'm going to put it to the side because I need this part. What we're going to do is we're going to take that same exact... Uh, actually, I want my... Yeah, no, I'm going to use this. The uh, gel-like glue six in one, it's pretty thick, and the only so I want it because what I need to do is make caps for those. So all you have to really do is you take, and you need to make like kind of like a square, and then we're gonna cure it. And when we need when we're gonna close those, you you're gonna take it off and add a little bit of gel onto it, and then cure it. So we're just gonna. Make a couple different sizes here. I think I want this one a little thicker. There we go. 
There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna cure those real quick. And in the meantime, while those are curing, I'm gonna go ahead and nip off the this one here, the, the front end of it. There we go. I'm gonna make sure they're all about the same. So if that means I need, no, the top one, well, top one on here, there we go. Because that's the only way I'm gonna be able to get those, oh, I'm sorry if I'm out of frame, guys. If the old, when I try to put that little thing in that I'm making, if they're not level, it won't sit on here. It'll be crooked, and then the wa the the uh, fluid on the inside won't work. So now what we're gonna do, since that's curing, I'm gonna take my mixture here of liquid, and we're gonna go ahead and put it in there and see if it works. Oh, see, it's going down. And like I said, I did add a little bit of glitter to it Oop, that one went behind mm. uh -uh. okay let's see here okay Why aren't you filling up anymore? There we go. Okay. So then I'm going to take off, obviously, a wipe that I have with alcohol. Make sure it's all nice and dried off. There's a piece hanging up. There we go. So, we, and of course, now I got oil all over. Hold on here use that little wipe on my finger because I'm going to clean off the hand so I don't keep touching the oil. So there's oil in that one. So now what I'm going to do is take my little sheet that I have right here with the little pieces on it and I'm going to add a little bit of the six in one, you know, glue. Take it and I'm going to put it on this one because it's the smallest one. Put a little on it to do this one hand it is a little tricky here but i'm going to take this off hmm. maybe i might have to take it yeah and use my tweezers there we go so see it's a little and we're just gonna set it on there and make sure it makes contact get that hold on let's put a little bit more gel on there on my tweezer and then smear it make sure it gets good contact there we go and use my flashlight and we're gonna cure it sorry guys if I have you out of frame let me double check here yeah sorry you guys were a little out of frame I do apologize so I'll show you guys better on the next one but we're gonna cure that No, not quite cure. Oop. Hold on. I think they said it works better on the smooth side, and I was actually using the rough side. So let's switch it around and do it on the smooth side. And then again, the other thing I want to do real quick is make sure that this is all nice and clean, no oil. Because if there's oil on it, it will not stick. Okay. Now I'm just trying to put a nice glob on here. So that when... I put it on here we can see that it is contacting with all of it there we go so cure it again it's gonna work or it's not gonna work I have too much oil or something we'll see so 
So we will see. And I'm just flash curing. And then I will put it under the light for the the full 60 seconds. It's just I got to get this to cure because if I don't get it to flash cure. Oh, look, see, it's on there. Good. Then I'm going to go ahead to the next one. So with the next one, the same concept, we're going to going to ease this back a little bit here for you guys. This hole is not you know it's about the same thickness of a hole so we're gonna go ahead and try to fill it up oh there it goes okay that's nice and full use that alcohol wipe again get it all nice and cleaned off oh snap that other one fell off that's not good. Okay. So let's see. Let me see here. See, I didn't really want to file anything or buff anything because I don't want the files to go in the actual nail. But... They aren't sticking, so let's see. Let's see if I can do it the opposite way. Put the little bit of gel on this, a decent chunk. And then this chunk here and this one there okay flashlight and i'm gonna i'm gonna this time after this i will put it right away i'll skip the other two and put these ones in my light and then we'll finish the other ones I'm afraid to touch them. Mm. I'm putting my flashlight super close so it'll cure it real nice. Okay, so there's they're good right now, so I'm going to stick them in the light. Give them that 30, 60 seconds. My hand, because it had some oil on it. So I'm going to wipe it down real quick. So that my hand doesn't keep getting oily. But, okay. So now we're on to this one and this one. So I'm going to go ahead. This hole is definitely big enough that I shouldn't have any problems. Other than if I push too fast like I did. Okay, clean that off real quick. I don't even mind putting a little bit of this in there to get a little bit of that oil. So there we go. Now we're going to do it the exact same way where I'm going to put a blob of this on. And then my piece. Hold on, she doesn't feel smooth. I can't get my lint-free wipe to come apart. So there, okay, do that one more time. 
Okay. Now try it. Okay. It's right there. Okay. Flashlight. They're coming out so far, guys. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Keep your fingers crossed. So I'm also trying to make sure they're not leaking anywhere else while I'm holding them upside down like this. So, okay. That one's down. Okay, go ahead and buff. Well, no, I'm gonna put the oil on first. If I buff first, what's gonna happen is that, um, the dust gets stuck in there okay the oil's filling up i'm trying to see if you guys can see it oh this one's going down this one must have a hole somewhere so i might have to or it just doesn't like the way the hearts are in there because those hearts are stuck. Don't be stuck. Okay. Let's see now. Buff it up real quick. Okay, the last little one, put it on. Make sure it taps down. Yep, it's on there. And flash cure. Flash cure. And then I gotta check all the rest of them out and see what's going on. We'll clip we'll we'll nip off all these edges and everything, but I'm gonna put it in the flashlight, or I'm sorry, in my other light for um the 60 seconds first. Okay, that one's on. We're gonna cure now under my big lamp and then We'll finish them. Okay, so they're out now. Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put it back on my stand here. And we're gonna go ahead and see what it's doing. I'm gonna clean the hand off too real quick. And then I'll take it back out and we'll see how much it moves. But this hand is definitely oily right now. Okay. Let's see, let me take it out. Let's see how much it moves. But I wanna see, that hand is really oily. Hmm. Okay, let's see how much she moves. They are not moving. Other than the air bubbles, you know that there's liquid in it. But other than that, no, they're not moving. The pinky moves a little bit, but very, very little. And they don't seem to be leaking. Well, let's go ahead and clean these up. I mean, obviously, maybe I've used too chunky of a, a glitter. I mean, it could be. But so, from what I've seen, you cut these off. without pulling them off, obviously. There we go. It's still on there, okay.
So now before I file or anything, I want to use Okay, I want to use a little bit of my, um, I don't think I have a lot of it left, but I'm going to use a little bit of this. It's a four-in-one glue, but it's a little thicker than the uh, Beetles or uh, gel-like. So I'm going to see if I can get any out here. And we're going to go ahead and just put it here around the Thing, the plug just to make sure it gets really nice and plugged <laughs> it worked I mean I just like I said the glitter for some reason doesn't want to move but yeah it's working so I'm happy I just need to, I guess, figure out different uh, 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 glitters I can use with it that's a little lighter that would work with it. So, that's all. But it is cute. I mean, I could take some of these uh, hearts and put on the outside if I wanted to. Bling it out. But because it didn't work exactly the way I wanted to work, if I have to, I'm going to do another video uh, in about a week or so. Once I maybe play with it off of, off of camera. We'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that real quick. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, buff, okay? Let me go ahead and wipe the inhibition layer off. And then we'll go ahead and we'll file. Okay, and then we'll put a clear coat on. So, get you back on there, there we go. Ooh. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna just use my e-file. In which case, you know, you, you got to make, I'm just not, I'm just taking off some of the, the shape of it because I don't want to take it off because then it'll unplug it. So I'm just making, I'm really not even taking that much because I mean, I put that um, builder glue on there. So yeah, there we go. And I'm going to flip the hand up to do the underneath side here in a minute. Right now, I just wanted to get the top. It's really not that thick either, so it comes off pretty quickly. But I also want to keep the shape of the coffin on here as well. But I don't want a big lump at the end of the nail. So, let's go ahead.
I nip this one a little less so or further down so it needs not as much cleanup. Same with this one. So when you do it yourself, you'll know. Like I said, I think I might do a pop art uh, video too today. I don't know. We'll see. Now I'm going to flip the hand upside down so we can do the underneath. Okay. If it was a client, I'd have her do the exact same thing, you know, because you could move them just that way. I changed my file tip to one that would work for underneath a lot better. And the biggest thing is you're going to want to make sure it's definitely smooth so that it don't get dirt underneath it and it gets stuck. So you're going to want it to match the other tip. So just make sure you take your time so it doesn't break open. But you got it smooth. There we go. I got a little itty bitty lip right there, but it's going away. There we go. Next one. There we go. My chair is the worst, guys. It moves on me. Sorry. Okay. So, that's it with the e-file. Now, let me go ahead and take her off again. Flip her up. Put her back on. And this isn't... Yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay. Just buffing it a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and put a base coat on and then the top coat they look pretty especially if you know what they are they look really pretty this one I filed a little too much but that's okay we will be okay so I'm gonna use my I'm gonna uh, get off the dust obviously and like I said guys they're not leaking I'm not feeling any extra oil or anything so that's a plus but we're gonna put the base on it's beetles base gel I'm gonna put that on first and then we're gonna go ahead and put the beetles top coat no wipe top coat okay Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now for the uh, top coat. I'm going to go ahead and wipe that off again. Okay. 
And again, it's Beatles top coat, no wipe top coat. I actually like this top coat. It doesn't say no wipe, but it is definitely no wipe. I actually really, it's really nice and crystal shiny. Um, I don't notice a lot of lint and stuff. I actually, I really, really do like this top coat. It doesn't peel. Um, yeah, I, I like this top coat. Goes on nice and smooth. Okay. Then when we're done, we're going to try to move it around and see what will happen. Okay. Okay, guys. Here they are. Beautiful. Let's go. I'm going to keep moving them here. Let's see if we can see something. The air bubble in the pinky goes up. See it? It pushes them. So that one works. And then, of course, there's an air bubble in this one. No. And this one's not moving. There's an air bubble in it. Well, the pinky one is the best one that works. It has a little air bubble and so forth. But it's really nice. They came out really cute. And, of course, uh, hold. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you watched my video before this, you know what we're going to do next. And you know what you're going to get. So, uh Please subscribe, uh, push the like button and the bell if you would like some notifications. Uh, and again, thank you for enjoying my video. The grand prize winner is Emerson Cunningham. Please email me with your name or your address so I can send that out. Thank you. Thank you.